Welcome back. Now, the need for energy globally has more than doubled in the past 40 years. Countries like India and China have been powering their economic growth with energy from fossil fuels, coal and nuclear power. But as the demand for energy keeps rising, what are the alternatives available to India? India has put forward a draft resolution on wind energy, but can India learn any lessons in renewable energy from the UK? Rahul Joglekar reports from London. Out at sea, but at the centre of the UK's offshore wind energy arsenal is London Array, one of the world's biggest wind farms. The UK calls itself a world leader in wind energy. And that's why perhaps experts from the UK were in India to share their knowledge. India uh, has recently collaborated with a company in the uh, UK in order to assess the wind resources and uh, as a result of this first exercise, they have individuated several areas around India uh, that seem to be promising from a wind point of view. One is off the coast of Gujarat and the other one is uh, near the coast of Tamil Nadu, between Tamil Nadu and uh, Ceylon. It seems easy enough to be able to manufacture power from thin air or the wind. But these projects usually require a lot of money in terms of startup costs, both onshore and offshore projects, and that's why governments need to be involved. But how does the government decide and prioritize what sources of energy should it invest in for the future? Here in the UK, there's something called the 2015 Pathways Calculator, which helps governments compute and analyze and then decide on how to spend their money in terms of different energy sources. Now the calculator has been adopted by the Planning Commission in India. Launched a few days ago, it will foster a debate about what India's energy priorities should be in the next few years. So what the 2050 calculator does is it allows anyone to make different decisions about the future of the UK energy system, whether we have more or less insulation, whether we turn our thermostats up or down, whether we build more or less nuclear power stations, whether we plant more or less fields full of biocrops. And it shows the implications of those choices. So what energy source could help India power ahead? Could the answer be blowing in the wind? With Pragati Mandotra in Delhi and Rahul Joglekar in London, Akash Das Gupta for NDTV.